Once upon a time, in a land cloaked by towering mountains and endless forests, there lived a quiet monk in a peaceful village. This monk lived not in pursuit of material wealth, but rather for something much deeper, a sense of connection with the flow of life, of seeing what lies beneath the surface. People from all walks of life came to him, seeking answers to questions of the soul, but not all understood the depth of the wisdom he offered. He was not just a monk, he was a seer, someone who could perceive the currents of energy that shaped the unseen realms of existence. Through his meditative practice, he began to recognize signs in himself, markers that set him apart, not by superiority, but by a connection to a deeper wisdom that many do not yet realize within themselves. As he matured spiritually, he discerned five particular signs that whispered to him, you are a seer. These are his teachings, shared through a journey of self-discovery and awareness. A seer has piercing intuition, the first sign the monk discovered was piercing intuition. It was not an intellectual knowing but a deep, gut-level understanding of things before they happened, and of people without needing to ask. When people approached him with stories of their suffering or joy, he found that even before their words came, he sensed the emotion and truth within their hearts. In the village, there was a woman who came to him, deeply troubled. She spoke of difficulties in her marriage, blaming herself for its failures. Without hearing the entire story, the monk gently smiled and said, You are not at fault, but your heart is clouded by fear. The woman gasped. For he had seen into her very soul. She wept, not because of his words, but because he had seen a truth she could not voice. The monk taught that this was the gift of seers, to perceive truths hidden beneath the masks people wear. Intuition, he explained, is the language of the universe whispered into the ears of those who listen. It cannot be explained by logic, but it is always right. He urged her to trust her own intuition, to see that the answers she sought were already within her. This first sign, he came to realize, is not just about knowing the future or reading minds. It is about feeling the undercurrents of life and trusting the voice that speaks without words. The more he trusted this intuition, the more clearly he saw. Comfort in solitude, as the monk grew in wisdom, he noticed that his need for constant human interaction diminished. He found profound peace in the company of silence. This was the second sign, a deep comfort in solitude. For many, being alone can feel like loneliness, but for the monk, solitude was where he found the universe speaking most clearly, each morning, he would wake before the sun rose, sitting in meditation by a small pond. The water, still and reflective, became a mirror for his thoughts. It was here, in this space of solitude, that he could listen deeply to the wisdom of nature, the whispers of the wind, and the pulse of the earth. One day, a young man from the village approached him, troubled by feelings of isolation. Why do I feel so alone when there are people around me? He asked, the monk smiled softly. You are not alone because there are no people. You are alone because you have not yet found yourself. Solitude is not loneliness. It is the gateway to understanding yourself, and through that, the world, he taught the young man that seers find solitude not as a punishment, but as a gift, a sacred space where clarity emerges. In solitude, one does not run from the world but returns to it more attuned. In silence, the seer's heart opens wider, receiving wisdom that cannot be found in the clamor of society. Seers are never truly alone because they feel the connection of all things within their solitude. This realization gave the young man comfort, 
as he began to understand that his solitude was a pathway to deeper knowing. Vivid dreams with meaning, in time, the monk began to experience another awakening. His dreams, once vague and fleeting, became vivid and full of symbolic meaning. The third sign of a seer is the power of dreams and visions, messages from the deeper realms of consciousness. One night, the monk dreamt of a vast ocean. He saw himself standing at the shore, and as he looked out to the horizon, a large bird flew over the water, carrying a glowing orb in its beak. When the bird dropped the orb into the ocean, the water shimmered and lit up with countless stars, the monk awoke, pondering the meaning of this vision. He understood that the orb symbolized wisdom, and the bird was a messenger of the divine. The ocean, vast and deep, represented the collective unconscious, the mind of the universe. The stars within the water were the countless souls connected by this wisdom, shining together in unity, when the monk shared his vision with others, many began to seek him out, not just for guidance but for the interpretation of their own dreams. One day, a fisherman came to the monk, disturbed by a recurring dream where he was always losing his way at sea, the monk listened carefully and said, the sea is your life, and the boat is your mind. You are lost because you do not trust your own direction. Your dreams are urging you to find stillness, and in that stillness, you will find your way. Dreams, the monk explained, are the language of the soul. They often reveal what we cannot see in waking life, offering insight and guidance from realms beyond the physical. A seer is one who understands these messages and knows how to interpret their deeper meaning. Seeing beyond the physical, as time passed, the monk noticed his perception shifting again. He began to see beyond the physical realm. It wasn't just intuition or dreams now, he could feel the energy of places, people, and things. This was the fourth sign of a seer, the ability to see and sense energy patterns, understanding that everything is interconnected. One evening, as the monk walked through the village, he passed a large tree that had stood for centuries. He stopped in front of it, sensing its life force, feeling its ancient energy vibrating through the air. It was as if the tree spoke to him without words, sharing the wisdom of the earth, of time, of growth and decay. A farmer, noticing the monk's stillness before the tree, approached him curiously. What do you see? The farmer asked, the monk replied, I see not just the tree but the life within it, the energy that flows through its roots, the connection it shares with the earth and the sky. It is alive in ways we often forget to notice, he explained that a seer can perceive the energy in all things, living and non-living, because everything is alive with the force of the universe. This awareness allows seers to understand the world not just as a collection of objects but as a web of interdependent energies. When the farmer returned to his fields, he noticed for the first time the way the plants reached toward the sun. The way the soil vibrated with life, and the subtle hum of nature's rhythm. He began to cultivate his crops not just with physical care but with an awareness of their energy, the monk smiled as he realized the power of this fourth sign, seeing the invisible energy that shapes reality. It is the seer's gift to understand that nothing is separate, everything is part of the same living, breathing whole. Profound empathy and connection, as the monk continued his journey of self-discovery, he arrived at the deepest and most profound sign of all, empathy and connection with all beings. The fifth sign of a seer is the understanding that there is no separation between oneself and others. It is the knowledge that all beings are interconnected, that the suffering of one is the suffering of all, and that love is the ultimate truth of the universe. One day, as the monk sat in meditation near the village, 
he felt a deep sorrow wash over him. It was not his sorrow, but the collective grief of the people around him. He opened his heart and allowed himself to feel their pain, their joys, their fears. In that moment, he realized that his role as a seer was not just to observe or guide but to connect deeply with the hearts of all beings. A young child approached him, crying softly. She had lost her way, both in the physical sense and in her spirit. Without a word, the monk took her hand, and as they walked together back to the village, he shared his presence with her, no need for words just the silent understanding that she was not alone, he taught her that seers have the ability to feel the emotions of others as their own. This empathy is not a burden but a gift, for it allows the seer to offer comfort, guidance, and healing. It is through this connection that the seer understands the oneness of all life. The monk came to understand that the ultimate purpose of being a seer is not to possess knowledge or power but to serve others with compassion. To see beyond the veil is to see the truth of interconnectedness, and to live in harmony with that truth. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.